what you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and i will win what if the truth is that changing your life is one away one decision one meeting one conversation one extra phone call one extra rep in the gym you start stacking up those one mores that's the separator in life we don't get our goals we get our standards you meet somebody who doesn't have self-confidence, this is someone who's perpetually not keeping promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody with pretty good baseline confidence, you've met somebody who now keeps the promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody doing superhuman things, they keep the promises they make to themselves, and they do one more. There's a power to one more. When you start stacking up those one mores, not only have you put more contacts out into the universe, but you start believing, I'm doing something most people aren't willing to do, I'm fixing to get something most people aren't gonna get. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've got to understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not gonna outwork me, so I'm gonna catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you gotta go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, cause I'm pissed off. For greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field one season. Everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You've got to get up earlier. You've got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 120. If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can conceive it, you can attain it. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. 
you can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the hand and say, we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You've got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they won't invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listens to you, including sing it to yourself. You gotta write even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something, you're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out selling yourself on you and on your potentials and you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort and that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time take that leap of faith trust yourself and believe that everything is going to be all right when you want to do something great with your life, something that is beyond those visions other people around you see for themselves, they're going to try to tear you down. They'll tell you, you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. You're just a dreamer. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. Their family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Who wants you when you're looking like this and been through this and been through that? Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. When they fight against you and your dreams of the future, that hurts. They won't see it like you do, but they don't have to. Only you do. You're the only one who has to see it for yourself. I want to win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. Don't let these opinions of other people pull you off course. How do you do that? You ignore and outwork each and every one of them. You see, while they watch you and talk shit about you, you put in more effort. You work diligently. You focus on taking things to the next level. They'll keep spreading rumors and you will keep working. They'll keep talking negatively and you will keep working. They'll keep focusing on everything and everyone else and you'll keep working. And when they finally take a look around at their lives and compare it to yours, they'll come to the realization that they have absolutely no valid reasons to criticize anymore. And they will be the ones to lose while you will be the one to succeed. I will not be outworked. You may be smarter, you may be faster, you may be better than me in nine different categories, but you will never work harder than me. I will make my dreams come true. I don't care what it takes, I'll pay whatever price is required. 
Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. You gotta grind and hustle. You're gonna even have the doubt. The spirit of doubt is gonna kick in, and you're gonna say, why did I move out here? Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you crazy as a mom. You just gonna leave your city, the comfortability of your house, your family, your environment, all your friends, your loved one to go seek a dream and seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. Because it's very easy to become your environment. It's very easy to become duplicates of the mediocre and average people surrounding you. So wake up every day and decide that you love yourself enough to commit yourself to you. If you concern yourself with what everyone else is doing and how everyone else feels about the things you're pursuing, you'll never get anything done. So you gotta focus on yourself. You've gotta focus on your dream, on your vision, on what it is you want in your life. You're supposed to live your life, focus on your intentions and do your thing. All the people that are living on the top have all decided that I'm gonna commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal, training, education, no parties. They're gonna call you names. They're gonna say you're corny. They're gonna call you a square. They're gonna say that you're a weirdo because you don't f with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said that I have decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. They are living beyond what is expected because they were obedient to the vision. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently, when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses you will dominate every single person you're up against and your limits become non-existent there are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs but there are few people who have decided within themselves I'm going to make it some people aren't waiting to be cut some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves I've got what it takes to make it they're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. He pays the price and a little bit more. He works hard and a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money and a little bit more. He saves money and a little bit more. If you want to win in business, you got to be tough and you can't quit. Somebody's going to win, you or him. And the person that wins is going to want it the most. This business is nothing but an attitude business. It's your attitude about you. It's your attitude about life. If you go out there this week and you just think you're supposed to be somebody, you're going to do something big and you go out there and you work hard and you prepare well and you get up mentally and you go out there and you leave it all on the field and you just have a feeling that dad gummit, this is our time. We, we going to do it. You've got a chance to win. Life gives you what you'll fight for. Life don't give you what you want. Life don't give you what you'd love to have. Everybody would love to be successful, right? Everybody wants success. They want financial independence. Life gives you what you will excel. If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. I believe desire and determination is everything.
It ain't talent, it ain't brains, it ain't education, it's desire and determination. You've got to have a will to win. You've got to have a hunger to be somebody. This is your life. This is your legacy. This is who you are. You're writing your history right now. We got to get to work, man. We got to get to work because we live in a day and a time where we have every opportunity to be our best self. Did you know that less than 1% of people are naturally extraordinarily gifted at something? Think genius, think savant. Do you know what that means for us, the other 99 plus percent of people? If we're going to do anything great in this life, it is going to require discipline. That's the truth. If you are going to accomplish anything extraordinary with the days on this planet, it is going to require you pushing through the discomfort and embracing the grind and disciplining yourself. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and they make another bad choice. They make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices. And they like, how do I get here? Choices. How do I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The cause of laziness is a craving for comfort. It's wanting comfort Ultimately, your problem is not laziness. It's the worship of comfort which produces laziness. It's that I don't want to do anything that I don't want to do. It's believing this lie that if it doesn't come completely natural to me, if it's not easy, then I shouldn't have to do it or maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. You have to make a choice. Either you're going to resort back to your old place and remain comfortable and miss the opportunity, or you're going to have to want it bad enough to get out of your comfort zone. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning and then you don't need discipline. But if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth that you know you could be better, you know you could do more, if you tell yourself the truth, you won't have to find discipline. Discipline will find you. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. You can become godly through discipline, not easy, not just because you feel like it, that sometimes you have to honor the grind. If it don't scare me, I don't want to do it. If it ain't edgy and half crazy, I'm not interested in it. But if it's something that I can't pull off by myself, and I gotta stay up at night, and I gotta pray my way through it, then I'm ready to do it. Because nothing great comes without struggle. Excellence requires discomfort. There's got to be some type of discipline attached to whatever you want deliverance in. And what I'm telling you is the battle never changes. Every day, you have to get self-control. You will have to think and find creative ways to make the next move happen. Your next move is in between your ears. When your head shifts, your life is going to shift. You've got to begin to think about the things you want to materialize in your life on a regular basis and think about it repetitiously. Literally, the things that we obsess about become the things that we possess in our lives. Your mind is a weapon, and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it, and they misfire all the time. So today, I want you to pick up that weapon that is your mind and begin to point it at the things you want. Becoming successful is a situation of developing discipline, persistence, patience, grit, character traits that you don't just get, you are not f***ing born with. It's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing 
because you know that it's the right thing to fucking do. So often, we want to blame circumstances for the way things are. We want to blame genetics for the reason we're kind of fat. We got all these problems. But might I suggest the problem is the pattern of your response. But you can't change the product if you don't change the pattern. You can't change the way your career's going if you don't start changing your work ethic and your work habits and your inner relations. You can't change your wisdom unless you change your input. Just the problem is the pattern. Whatever's going on is your fault. Me, it's your fault. Accept that, own it, and then deal with it. You might be smarter, your family might come from privilege, your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one. That's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tear. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tear. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. You gotta kill. What's gonna separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always gonna give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're gonna score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm not give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go in that doggone classroom, compete. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part, because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you need. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they were willing to work their f***ing ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential, it wasn't about the genetics, it was about the perseverance, and it was about being the hardest f***ing worker in the room. If you're going to make it, you've got to be willing to be the outlier. The weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. 
Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the sh that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please, let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work. And I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. And I recommend that you do the same. People always say, you got to love the work. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to get addicted to what you do. You got to be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You gotta work long hours. You gotta work smarter and you gotta work fucking harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You gotta work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you saying, like, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. 
To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak, the grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you walk with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You walk what they pay for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one on one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're gonna be the apex, you gotta be it. It has to consume you. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is gonna jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not gonna happen. You gotta learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you gotta understand that greatness is within you. And you gotta pull it out. You gotta climb every mountain. You gotta cry if you got to, but whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. But I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. And I will succeed. No one is born a world champion. The successful do what they must, what they can to be the best, to be number one. You need to get so busy, so consumed, so obsessed with activity that you don't know about the celebrities that are getting a divorce. Like, who cares, man? Why? Because I'm too damn busy, dude. Your success is going to come from activity, from being obsessed, from being like so into it that you lose track of time. It is this type of determination that just happens to build tremendous confidence. Confidence in knowing that most likely your competitors are not doing the same sacrifices. Determination gives you that mental edge. Life is going to test that will every time. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. People think commitment is just saying, yes, I'll do it because the environment is right and it's cute. But what commitment is, commitment is staying true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you have set it in has left. Meaning when you don't feel like getting up in the morning, you get your butt up in the morning, you do what you said you were going to do anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like sacrificing, you get your butt up and you sacrifice anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like being dedicated to it, you stay your butt dedicated anyway because you understand what the process will go on to produce later on in your life. And we have to get to the point where we're willing to impose our will on certain things. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. But it falls down to it, I'm a go-getter and I'm a flat-out go-getter. And nothing will not stop me from getting it. Enough may not be enough. 50 cars might not be enough. 120 might not be enough. I don't know. I'm just telling you that sometimes enough is not enough. And so what do you have to do? You got to dig deep and find more. It takes energy and it takes effort. That's all you need to do to be successful. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. I don't care what happened yesterday when you got up. If your dream ain't a reality, don't give up. Don't give in. I just want you to go a little harder. Put forth a little bit more energy. Give me a little bit more effort. But don't give up and don't give in. There's going to be some struggles. Are you hearing me? Without struggle, there is no progress. But I'm telling you, you can do it. You can make it happen. We have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice that we love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker. 
that says sleep the f in. It's okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's that demon voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, get up, motherfucker. You're not good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be elite. They'll tell you they want to be great. But they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody, I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care what the situation. You put it on your back and you like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You're not at it, dog. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. You gotta do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, you gotta second the fuck up and do it. At some point in your life, give every single thing you got. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. It's not enough you ran a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Never do the bare minimum. Be different. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, it's been 550. You ain't the only one doing what you're doing. And that's some kid, and right now, he's trying to take your spot. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, I can't do no more reps, you said, saying, yeah, you gotta do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Know that that's someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. A lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life when they think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure that name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Hold space. If you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. And oftentimes when you're going up against other beasts, sometimes they just want it more than you want it. They're not more talented than you. They just know what they're out there for. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to drive you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. In all times when you want to quit, you make sure you know all the times, hours, and days you sacrifice to do the best. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour work day, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've got to understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not going to outwork me. 
So I'm going to catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream come when you push. And I'm not going to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part, because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you be. It's within you, and the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it, and they're willing to work their keen ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential, it wasn't about the gym. Next. It was about the perseverance, and it was about being the hardest working worker in the room. The journey is not easy. It's hard. It's hard to keep your spirits together. It's hard. It's uphill battle. It's a path less taken, not the beaten path that everyone else takes. It's a path that leads to character. You gotta earn that. But it's worth it. It's worth believing. It's worth fighting. You can do it. You can do it. It's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. The never say die attitude. We all fall down in life. The question is who gets back up? If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. Never give in to what you want. Adversity causes some cats to break and other cats to break records. It's about what you're made out of, not the circumstances. Every single one of you who is struggling right now, you need to understand this. What you're going through right now is necessary because you are forging the fucking skills. You are forging the determination. You are forging the grit. You are forging the fortitude. You are forging all the fucking things that nobody else is gaining because they're sitting on their hands and you're willing to push through. This fire you're feeling, this pressure you're feeling, this frustration you're feeling, this is what is going to make you into the weapon that will build the life that you are out to build. Character is defined on the days when you don't feel like doing what you once said you would do. When the outcome changes and it's not what we want it to be and it doesn't turn out the way we want it to turn out, do we still value the thing that we once said we value? Is our character still intact? Character is not something we inherit. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of uncertainty, we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight and we got to build it. It's about the sacrifice, the honor, the work, the commitment level, what you had to go through in order to get to this moment, being battle tested, the injuries, the blood, the sweat, the tears. Everybody can't respond and everybody can't recover. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you stand on, what you say, what it means to you. I'm talking every single rep. I'm talking every opportunity. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This shit for warriors, man. This shit for soldiers, man. Everybody's got a plan so they can hit in the mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked down on the canvas, when everything falls apart in your life, what the are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay 
fucking part. We have been conditioned to tell ourselves that our hardships are the reason that we can't be what we want to be. When in reality, the hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. If you had to choose between having a perfect upbringing and having an upbringing that was extremely hard, you should choose the one that was hard. I'm talking to you guys who still have hope, who still have the fire, who still have the want and the will and the desire to be more and become more. I'm talking to you, motherfuckers. You can do this. There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's gonna happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You're still alive. You're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running towards your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacle, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say when you no longer find the need to seek their approval it's done when the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you i don't care who you are life's gonna punch you in the face sometimes life will take you to your knees sometimes you have to cry sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself, whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself, whatever you need to do to overcome whatever 
you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up, you keep standing. No matter what. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms rather than just gliding through every day on automatic that you have a special power within that you know that things are going to get better for you you know that you can handle this and because you want some different kind of results in your life you've got to decide that i'm going to go all out we decide which moments define us will it be the moment we get knocked down or will it be the moment when we get back up. This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. We'll all be tested in life. Some of us later, damn it. Others find a way around the moment. Family's inevitable. It's about keeping the motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. People who operate in darkness, they are relentless. They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those f***ing people, what they say to you. You gotta start arming your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. So if people talk shit to you, it doesn't f***ing matter. That's great power in adversity. If you're a victim of any kind, make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in front of the camp. That's what builds self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're going to show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you are capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? you got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage.
You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had her. You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stay in the race less when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch? How do you handle the times when you're borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated? How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement as somebody comes right after their worst defeat. When they hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they got nothing left. Everyone's giving up on them. They're dead broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the f*** out of this hole? It's at that point when everything's lost that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you, pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you have that belief that's so strong, that overrides the crowds and split, the adversities, anything, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds a title, has the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe. In order to craft a life that you love more than the life you have today, you have to start being a little irrational. George Bernard Shaw said, reasonable people adapt themselves to the world. Unreasonable people attempt to adapt the world to themselves. All progress, therefore, depends on unreasonable people. Most people are just sheep. They just opposite direction. Your chances are always going to be better and quicker and more efficient than following what every other person is doing because they're only doing it because they see everyone else doing it in the first place. It's this weird psychotic loop that we all get. Because you don't have what it takes. Are you not where you're supposed to be? Because you don't have the ability. Are you not where you're supposed to be? Because you don't have the talent. Are you not where you're supposed to be? Because you don't have the opportunity? No, 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 no. What it boils down to is you not where you're supposed to be because you average. Every single thing you do is average. And yet you want to be great and you want to be phenomenal. Forget about it. I'm suggesting to you that if you want to be great, that you're the first in the class and you're the last one to leave beast mode. I suggest that you study every single page. You take every single note. Beast mode. You go to the training and you're listening and you're writing and you're beast mode. When you want to become a diamond, your whole attitude change, your whole mindset, your thinking, your relationship, the decisions that you make, your energy, all of it changes. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. Continue to work, continue that course, believing in the worldly cause, the end state of it all, knowing that the pressures and the problems coming are welcoming. Those are the situations that are going to formulate and mold you into the person you want to be. Accept this as the reality. Sacrifice this day for the investment in the future of greatness. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. You got to take that thing out. Like, you got to take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You got to go get it. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. If you can focus your mind on it, 
you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going? You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. You better be committed or you ain't gonna make it. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. The very first level is you seeing it. You got to know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're going to compromise. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out. Read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace. Give up your blood. Give up your sweat. Give up your tears. Give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's going to hand it to you. You've got to grind for it. You've got to stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving, and keep growing. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going. When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required. When you feel that it's worth it, you don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. When you go up in there and you start going at it passionately and working with it and working with it and working with it it will reveal its secrets to you and you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now